Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. This is a mod pack for Minecraft 1.16.5, uh, made by my friend Iskull85 and his team. And if I had to describe it, I would say it's Diablo as a roguelike, but in Minecraft. It's honestly really, really cool. Uh, so, I'm going to create the world together with you, just because uh, those of you who may want to play along, you can have the same settings and everything. So, first of all, I always have cheats on, just because things can always break, uh, both in vanilla and in modded. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to go to the More World Options, change this to Realistic, and the seed is just going to be Wells Knight, with a capital W. There we go. So that's the... Uh, world settings, let's get into the world. Okay, so when you first get into the world, this is what you're going to see. Uh, and we're just going to leave these difficulties and multipliers on standard. Uh, so here we go. Now you may notice up in the upper right-hand corner, we do have Zero's mini-map. Uh, and also we have the full map available here. I will say I did take a glance at the seed uh, and kind of flew around a little bit beforehand. I honestly always do that just to make sure the seed isn't terrible and I have to, you know, travel 10,000 blocks to find spruce wood or something stupid like that. Uh, and honestly, the seed seems really good. Uh, so I know that somewhere off over here, there's a mesa. There's a bunch of like forests and stuff kind of all around here. There's a desert like up here. So a uh, good variety of different resources and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so first thing we need to do is just sort of the early game Minecraft stuff. Now, for those of you who may be unfamiliar with Vault Hunters, it basically starts out as mostly vanilla. It's like vanilla with Quark, which is like a vanilla plus mod. So you don't really have all the technical machines and power generation and storage and like all the crazy stuff that modded gives you right off the bat. Uh, to get that stuff, you have to uh, complete vaults. And we'll talk more about that later. But one thing we do have right from the beginning is skills. And you can see we start up here with five skill points. And in order to facilitate uh, the early game stuff and honestly get us to the point where we can run vaults, we can spend these skills to give us a couple of added benefits. So for example, we have haste. I can spend two skill points and just always have haste one, which seems really good. So we're going to do that. And then also I want torquer and this will make it so we can basically hold down shift and apply a bone meal effect to crops in an area around us. So that seems really useful. And then last but not least, I think I'm going to spend my last two skill points on two levels of vein miner so I can mine uh, eight blocks at once. And that seems like a pretty good start. Now, more skill points are going to be kind of hard to come by. Uh, it's going to take a while, uh, but now what I can just do is, you know what? I do not have my controls set up. One second here. Okay, I think we're good. So now if I hold down G, you can see I will mine eight blocks all at the same time. And you'll see in the lower left, there's like a little skill bar. Right now, the only skill we have is vein miner. And G will activate whatever skill is down there in that little thing. And we can also use that to break leaves, things like that. Uh, basically just speed up the resource gathering process. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring, try and find a good location to set up like a little starter base. And I'm going to do some of the early game Minecraft stuff, you know, tools and basic stuff like that. And I'll catch up with you in just a sec. Okay, my friends, I think we have found the location of our base. Look how flat this place is. We're kind of up on like a plateau. Well, you can kind of look at the map here. All of this very sort of grassy area is pretty high up. It's all like on this sort of, not really a mesa, obviously, but it's like on a plateau, nice and flat, lots of space. And, uh, you know, in in our Aldemod 7 series, we're building an underground base. So I want to build a not underground base in this one. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, obviously, I don't really know. I mean, we could just live here for... Oh, wait, are there potatoes and stuff over here? I see wheat. Ow. What, what is... What is... What happened? Why am I poisoned? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm very confused. Well, we got our potatoes. That's something. 
Um, why was I poisoned? I mean, at this point, you might as well wait for the poison to wear off, right? Like, there's no sense in... I literally have no idea what just poisoned me. Anyway, I'm going to set up like a little home around here somewhere. I'm going to uh, build a couple chests and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, hello, cows. We need you as well. Uh, but this seems like a good place to live. We've got everything we need for the most part, uh, and I think it'll be great. So I was out exploring, looking for a decent little cave to look for some iron and all of that kind of good stuff. And check it out. We found a spider spawner just chilling over here. Uh, we're not super far from home. Let me just grab this coal real quick. Um, this is kind of where I decided to set up my base, and I just kind of went south a ways just to kind of look around and see what I can find. But that's pretty nifty. Now, remember, we are in 1.16.5, so we don't have uh, ore chunks yet and all that kind of good stuff. It's basically just regular old ores. Still, though, what have we got in these chests? I mean, sure, why not? And uh, that's not terrible either. A couple of things. I mean, bone, diamond horse armor, the Lexico Botania is not going to be super useful anytime soon. But still, not bad to find a nice little dungeon right off the bat. There was a ravine down here, which I basically took all the uh, useful resources out of. Right now, there's a lot of resources that we can't really do anything with, like the copper from thermal and tin and mechanism and all that other. All those modded ores, for the most part, can't do anything for us right now, other than just stockpile and save for later. Uh, but the big thing that I found was some iron. So I'm going to get this smelted up. And then I think what I'm going to do is just establish a uh, a branch mine. Um, I'll build one, dig it down to roughly diamond level, uh, maybe even a little lower, because I think there is actually a, a specific ore that you need to be below diamond level for. Uh, and then I'll, you know, make a ladder, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, we're getting there. And there they are, the first diamonds of the series. Just vein mine those, and unfortunately, it looks like it was only a vein of two, which is a bit disappointing. I will say vein miner makes this go considerably faster when you're looking for uh, just, I mean, all the resources, when you're just grabbing basically everything there is. But still, uh, yeah, I mean, it could have been worse when a distance, but wasn't that far. Either way. Lots more mining to do. Okay, I have just uncovered vault rock ore. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like you can definitely mine it with a uh, pickaxe, but this is how you get vault rocks, and vault rocks are turned into crystals, which then open vaults. So these are very, very important. Well, after a bit of mining, we're doing okay on resources. We've got some blocks and stuff. And I think it is about time that I go out looking for a village. However, I am going to kill that enderman real quick because uh, that will be really useful if I can actually do this without getting killed in the process. Enderman! No? Come here. Stop teleporting away from me. Come back. This is actually really dangerous now, because I don't think I can outrun him. Oh, he's bad. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Run, 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 run. Ha! I am safe under my platform. Now, uh, I do have enough iron to make iron armor, but vanilla armor in this mod pack is is severely nerfed. Hey, we did get one ender pearl. Good. Uh, so I don't know that it's necessarily worth it to even make iron armor. We might just skip straight to diamond. Um, haven't really decided yet. But in the meantime, I think, as I was saying a minute ago, it is time for us to go out and find uh, a village. I think that's going to be the next important thing for us, because there's a few different things you can get in villages. Not only can you get villagers uh, and food and stuff like that, but 
There are immersive engineering houses that generate in some of them, and those have a crate outside of them, which is essentially a shulker box. Uh, so that will be hugely beneficial when it comes to mining and gathering resources and all that kind of stuff for inventory management. So hopefully I can find one. Before I go, though, I was kind of looking at my food and I realized I should probably get a little bit more. So let's make a quick little farm here. Let's go ahead and plant some potatoes. And then if I just hold shift, these will grow. And, uh, yep, there we go. They are all fully grown. And then Quark allows you to right-click a hoe, and it will mine, break, harvest, whatever, all the crops within a 3x3 three three area. So this is a great way for us to get a lot of resources and a lot of food pretty quickly without having to use any bone meal or anything like that, and then I can just cook up these potatoes and have a decent food source. Do you see what I see? Right here? That looks like a village. I was just doing some exploring, came down, kind of worked my way over, and I was coming over, and look at that right there. I think we have found a village. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, what we're really looking for as I said, are the immersive engineering uh, houses that can give us the um, the crates, and then also villagers and uh, libraries. A library would be great if we could find uh, some bookshelves and all that kind of stuff, because books are just honestly a major pain to get in the early game just without, you know, looting. <laughs> uh, so it'd be very nice to just find a bunch of books rather than having to farm a bunch of books. Okay, I see the village. So what have we got here? We have... Uh, just a random house? Anything good in here? Honestly? Uh, yeah, I will take that. That could potentially be useful. Oh, and this is another cool thing, by the way. Um, you can just shift right click a villager and yoink! He's in your inventory. Uh, <laughs> and then you can take him wherever you want. If I want to put him back down, just shift right click again. And there you go. So making a villager trading hall in uh, this mod pack, super, super easy. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Apples are really useful uh, because they are used... Uh, you, golden apples, I believe, are used to make healing potions. And you can't actually hide. Uh, you can't actually heal uh, inside a vault through just food regeneration. I'm, and I'm also gonna grab all of these villagers that don't have jobs because they'll be really easy to turn into whatever we want them to be. Uh, that is a librarian. What are your trades? Bookshelves? I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this guy as well. Uh, and a farmer, I will take you. Uh, Fletcher, eh. Cleric could be useful, maybe. Let's grab all of this, uh, all these hay bales. Is this the library? Yeah, this is totally a library. Okay, cool. So we'll grab that, grab the lectern. I'm quickly running out of inventory space. That got us, what, 12 books? Eh, it's not bad. I mean, all in all, it could be worse. Uh, I might, might just grab the glowstone as well. But I'm gonna sleep. I'll give this village one more good look over just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Uh, but then I'm going to keep looking. Well, I think we have found village number two. Yep, there, I just saw the house. I kind of came over this way and followed the coast. And uh, there's a nice big jungle here that I was peeking at. And I think... I mean, unfortunately, if this doesn't have an immersive engineering house, uh, I am very limited on inventory space right now. So we're not going to be able to bring a whole lot back. But hopefully, we will find at least something useful here. We got a farmer. That's always good. Um, immersive engineering house. Pretty please. That's all I ask for. Uh, we got a couple of weaponsmiths. Two, two of them. I will grab one of you. We will grab one weaponsmith. And may spruce... Ooh, okay. Hello. Uh, yes, I will take the 
gold and iron ingots. The rest of it I'm going to have to leave behind just because, as I said, my inventory space is extremely limited right now. I don't have a whole lot to work with. But yeah, it looks like this is another village without the immersive engineering house, as far as I can tell. I'm going to peek around a little bit more, but I don't think it has one. So I guess I'll just grab whatever villagers uh, I see that might be useful, bring them back with me, and uh, then I'll we'll go and hopefully find another village. Well, after a ton of exploring, uh, I did manage to find a few more villages and villagers, but I did not find what I was looking for. I didn't find an immersive engineering house. So I guess we'll just do it the old fashioned way. I'll just go back to mining and uh, doing all that kind of stuff. I, I do want to set up a villager trading hall very quickly because with the ability to get crops very quickly, you can trade for emeralds and then use weaponsmiths and the armorer uh, and, and some of these other villagers, uh, most of which we will probably end up turning into librarians, but uh, we will be able to get some decent tools that way. But first things first, I got to do some more mining to get some more resources, get a diamond pick, all that kind of good stuff. I have been grinding away for quite a few hours, and I've done a few things, did a, a bit more mining, uh, got a whole bunch of deep slate, which you can turn into bricks, deep slate bricks, because we have quark, and also I went and basically mined out uh, this whole dark forest area and this whole dark forest chunk right here to get a whole bunch of dark oak wood. Because it is time, I think, that we turn this into a proper base area rather than just uh, a, a too high wall with a door, uh, <laughs> which isn't much to look at. So I've kind of laid out a wall here. This is going to be sort of a main gate right here, and I haven't worked out a design for this yet. Uh, but we'll have this wall that kind of goes all the way around, and then we'll have towers in the corner. I, I've kind of envisioned this as sort of like a little mini medieval town, I guess you would say. Like, it's not going to be huge, but it's pretty good sized. I mean, you can see the wall goes over here. Each of these sections is five in the middle. I think there are seven sections on that side and that side over there. And then this one is 11 sections, I believe. So you can work out the math if you want. Uh, but we're going to build one little section of this wall together, and then I'm just going to repeat the same design uh, over and over and over again. So the first thing we need to do is bring each of these up to be six high, each of these uh, logs here. There we go. And then we'll take this part and we'll bring this, uh, the deep slate bricks up to be just below that. So it'll be five high there. And then we'll grab some dark oak stairs, do something like that. Here we'll go stair, stair to make like a little arch shape. And then we'll go like this, grab an upside down stair there and there, and slab, slab, slab. So from a distance, it'll look basically like that. And then we'll take spruce fences and bring them across the top. So let me just uh, get up here a little bit more. There we go. So. Upside down stair, upside down stair, slab, 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 and then up here we'll have spruce fences going across the top like so. And then on this side, it's just going to be the same. So that's basically what the wall will look like, and every section, as that repeats, uh, I think it's going to end up looking pretty good. So I got some building to do. The building is complete, and it's looking pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, as you can see, it's a fair amount of space for a starter base, and I've cleared out all the grass inside and torched everything up. Uh, but we got our towers kind of in the corners. Got a little area here over the gate. These are dark oak ladders from Quark, and everything up here is torched as well. A little bit of a walkway, all pretty straightforward, but this should keep the nasty mobs out. 
and give us plenty of space inside to start out with uh, a villager trading hall, little starter house, all that kind of good stuff, storage room, you know, all the basic essentials we'll need to really kind of get going. Oh, hello. Hi, do you have anything useful? Restoration Tome resets the repair cost penalty? That seems amazing. I don't think I have any emeralds, though. Yeah, I got nothing. Um, come here. Yeah, no. Oh! Oh, the llamas attack you. Okay. I mean, I don't have any armor. So, I'm sorry, llamas, but, like, you gotta go, too, since I can't have you just attacking me inside my base. Like, that's that's not okay. Go away. Put, there we go. Okay. Uh, well, we got a, a lead and some leather. But, eh, better than nothing, I guess. Anyway, so, yeah, that's the base. Uh, that's the plan. Eventually, we'll make uh, a villager trading hall, storage room, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but you know what? I think we are out of time for this first episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.